things to learn today. How to add seam allowance on pad by using these two tools, seam corner and seam allowance. And how the seam corner shape should be for mass production. Hi, I'm Jean. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. This channel is all about pattern making. If you love my videos, join my email list. Once a week, you will get extra pattern making lessons from me. You can join my email list on my website, patternstudio101.com. Okay, let's practice pad program. I'm going to show you adding seam allowance on a blazer. There are some options for corners when you add seam allowance, and they're really useful. I cannot say they're perfect because sometimes I have to make the seam corners manually, but most of the time it works well. You are going to learn two things today, how to add seam allowance by using these two tools and how the seam corner should be for mass production. Watch my video episode 26. I showed you how to use seam allowance tools and the basic features of these two tools, seam corner and seam allowance. Watch that video first and come back to this video. Okay, let's get into it. This is the example patterns we are going to work on. Center front, side front, side back, center back. You see the center back is straight. The center back seam will be folded. Top sleeve and under sleeve. To add seam allowance, we need to set piece first because these are on the plan view. Let's start with the front. Select the front. Control E. You can enter any information you want, but for today's lesson, I'll skip it. Click piece clone and editable from metro only. Okay. So you have now the front on the piece view. If you don't know what is plan view and what is piece view in pad pattern design program, watch my video episode 25, plan view and piece view. Okay, let's add seam allowance. Select the shoulder line, select tool seam allowance, half of an inch, and I want to have notches on both sides and click OK. Select the neckline and center front edge, quarter of an inch. And also I would like to have notches on both sides. Princess line and armhole, half of an inch. Because I selected the princess line and armhole at the same time, the notches are here, like at the end of here and end of here. You see these bolded corner, the black? Those are seam corners. When you need to change the seam allowance information, you select the segment. And when you select the segment, it will be selected from seam corner to seam corner. If you select the lapel line, it selects from the high shoulder point to the bottom of the princess line because that's the seam corner to another seam corner. Let's say you want to revise seam allowance only on the neckline. Then you activate the piece by clicking anywhere on the piece, select the tool seam corner, and click the point that you want to make a seam corner. There are a lot of seam corner options. Let's see standard for now. If you click OK, you can see the seam corner is created. Then now you can select only neckline. Control I, item info. Remember, we added quarter of an inch here. But if you want, you can change it to 3 8 of an inch. You see, here is 3 8 of an inch, and this is still quarter of an inch. 
Let's do it on the side front panel. Select the front side panel, Ctrl E. Click Piece Clone and Editable from Master Only, and OK. This time, I'm going to select all the outline at once. Select the tool, Seam Allowance. Click the line, and I say half of an inch. What happens? The program made one seam corner just randomly. But you know, you can create the seam corner wherever you want, right? So click the tool seam corner. I would make the seam corner at the underarm. Standard OK for now. Princess seam. And the hem. Now you have all seam corners on the corners. If you want to remove this seam corner in the middle of the side seam, then select the seam corner and press delete on your keyboard. If you want to add notches on the side seam, for example, you select the side seam, Control I, item info. It says seam allowance is half of an inch, and you can check two boxes. Now you have notches. Okay, let's take a look at the armor where the princess seam starts. You are going to stitch these two seams, right? Imagine the sewers put the panel on top of each other to stitch. The blue one is the side panel. I flipped it. You match these two notches. Then you see this triangle. You want to cut it out. I'm going to zoom in and select the seam corner, Ctrl I. If you select to cut 90 degrees to side one, you see here one, two. It changed like this. 90 degrees to side one. Let's try another option. Control I, 90 degrees to segment two. It looks like this. Let's leave it for now. I just want to move a little bit. And on this center front panel, let's create the seam corner here. Cut on side one. Okay. Then let's change this corner again, side panel, corner on side one. When you place the corner on top of each other, they have the same shape of the corner, right? All the corners should be like this. Let's rotate them straight. Here we go. This is how you make seam allowance for mass production. I just showed you only one corner, which is the Armour Princess seam. But for the production patterns, you have to check all the corners. So when the sewers put two panels together, they just match at the end of the fabric and just start to sew. That's it for today. If you're a pattern maker, join my Facebook group Pattern Making Professionals. The link is in the description box. This channel is totally dedicated for young professionals to take their pattern making skills to the next level. Have a great week. See you next time.